meanwhile in Canterlot City. A whole day in the big city to do whatever we want. Oh, just think of the fashion. The food. The prolicane. That's short for frosty looking. I'm going to get my half little hands on the new dessert trend. The puff cake. Half cream puff, half cupcake. Oh, the city is our oyster. Help! He's getting away with my jewels! Oh! The cupcakes will have to wait for justice. Jewelry back now. You didn't need to give her the jewels to impress her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but now you'll have plenty of time to think about that. From jail? Message in a bottle. Ooh, is it a love letter? A secret recipe? Or wait, someone's trapped on a deserted island? We have to save them! It's a treasure map. It looks just like this beach. Amazing! Let's go! Look, there it is. I wonder if it's filled with loot. Treasure is a treasure map! Follow the trail to the top of the MFBO and look for the X at the end of the... It's a code! If only we had a decoder ring! Well, that's convenient. Follow the SH shells to the pier and look for the X at the end of the RAI rainbow! Look! There's a trail of shells! <laughs> <laughs> This is the pier. Now where's the... Rainbow! X marks the sushi. Excuse me, do you know anything about a treasure map? Arrgh! Congratulations! Ye mateys followed ye map to find the bounty of X sushi! Yes! What's our treasure? 20% of any hand roll. Plus, all you can eat wasabi. Arrgh! That's it? The treasure is a sushi truck. That's amazing! Mmm. Mmm. I like it. <laughs> so spicy! Dictionary memorized and course set. Smooth sailing ahead. Ready about. I'm about ready for a snack. Care to try caramel cream puff? Mm -mm. Which is serendipitous that we're setting sail because I am winded. What's in the truck, Rarity? Oh, just a 
change of clothes and a coat in case it gets chilly. Also a small folding table, various tools, a fashion reference library, and a bag of gems. You know, the essentials. The essentials, right. My calculations accounted for the weight of the boat, but I forgot to account for rarity. Oh. At sea, nothing's accounted for. Its tides are fierce, yet sublime. As beautiful as they are, chaotic. Cast away! Don't worry, I checked the weather. We should expect a strong westward gale in three, two, one. Ah! I'm going the wrong way. Ready about! Tap! Joy! Am I the only one who memorized the nautical dictionary? Turn! Track. If only we could get a little more power. Ah! Ah! I'm ridiculously brought a chart! Surrender to the sea! <gasps> a rock! I mean, rock ah! Blows, I guess it's not off course. As long as you're with your friends. Especially if your friends have towels. The ocean. Vast. Mysterious. Wild. We may never fully understand her, but nonetheless, she commands respect. Ooh, salted caramel. <laughs> I got to come up with my very own chemical formula. Jalapeno Supernova Cupcake Frosting! That wasn't the assignment. Aw, you sound just like my lab partners. Couldn't have done it without you guys! I just got the weirdest text from Timber Spruce. Pirate, plane, alligator, thumbs up, waterfall, golf club, ice cream sundae. What does it mean? Is it an inside joke? A hieroglyphic reference? A secret code? Ugh, my brain feels weird. I'm not used to not knowing things. Hmm, sounds like you could use a translator. I could help. Leave this one to me. Who can get me out of this textastrophe? I'd finally do something to catch your eye. In a couple of days, a style scout from Canterlot City Fashion Week is visiting our shop. I need a window display with something fresh. I would like you to design and execute it. Really? <gasps> Thank you, Ms. Hemline. You will not regret this. Oh, and Rarity, don't mess up. Thank you for the opportunity! <sighs> I thrive under pressure. One does not become a diamond without pressure. It's too much pressure! <laughs> what in heavens will I do? I have tried everything. Fringe, appliques, cheese. The muse has left me. I'm sure you'll have an idea soon. You can't force artistic inspiration. Another piece by the secretive street artist, Flanksy. I wonder what it's like not to want credit and praise for one's genius creations. Yeah, uh, me too. This mural is everything I want to say, but through paint instead of fabric. Uh, it looks like you found your muse again. Ah, oh, yes, uh, <clears throat> it 
It's a postmodern installation piece celebrating the creative process in... Oh, who am I kidding? It's atrocious! This window's not avant-garde, it's avant marred Maybe there's a way we can save it. It's supposed to be finished by tomorrow! <laughs> I'm going home! Au revoir, Korea! I don't know how you did it, Rarity, but congratulations! <gasps> Thank you for looking after my garden while I'm away on vacation, Twilight. I really appreciate it. I'm so excited, Spike. I even brought my own watering can. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to expand my knowledge of botany. Let's get to it. Give a little and you get a little and you care a little and it starts to show. Growing things is easy if you just give it room to grow. not to overwater the plants. Have fun! And I hope you're all prepared because final exams are in two weeks. <gasps> ah! Ah! Don't worry, girls. We're gonna ace these finals. Hey, it's true, no stopping now. You're facing a big test. So much to do, so much to learn, so bring it, be your best. Feeling doubts, forgetting facts won't get you to the top. If you're gonna make it, you got to pull out all the stops. You got to rise up to the top of the class, go straight to the top of the class. Rise up to the top of the class, go straight to the top of the class. The hard part is getting going your mind on track put aside all those distractions cuz there's no turning back but you know it just gets better when you see the end in sight take it on start going strong you can get it right you can get it right you got to rise up up to the top of the class go straight to the top of the class rise up up to the top of the class go straight to the top of the class you got to rise up up to the top of the class go Rise up, up to the top of the class, go straight to the top of the class. 
Welcome to Rock Talks with Maud. Are you ready for rocks? Woo! Me too. I'm thrilled that you are here at the Canterlot Natural History Museum to learn about rocks, minerals, fossils, and last but not least, landforms. As you can see, our display is currently undergoing some metamorphic changes. It's been rocky getting this new one off the ground, and we're all feeling the pressure. That's a little rock business humor for you. Haha. <laughs> Thank you. Minerals are classified as naturally occurring substances formed in a geological process. They feature a crystalline structure in addition to specific physical properties and chemical composition. Now for something really fun. I will point to the sedimentary rocks. There, and there, there. That one. There, and there. Ready that for one. what we planned with there. Maud? Mm-hmm. Let's one. do it. Thanks to the rock cycle, we also have these gems. Friction heats up rocks. Baked rock doesn't melt. It forms them into crystals. <gasps> but all of it starts with hot magma rising to the crust through volcanic pipes. You might know it as lava. <laughs> Magnificent. And the process of fossilization is the reason we have these dinosaur bones. Imagine, if you will, that these colossal prehistoric beasts are walking through the museum right now. Oh. Look at that. You don't have to imagine. Dino might. As a proud member of the Mod Squad, I just wanted to ask, will you sign my geology book? line for the new T-Rex Revenge video game? Yeah! Oh, Rise of T-Rex was awesome. I've been waiting ages for the sequel. Whoa, whoa. This is the line for the line. It's about the quest with your buds, not the loot. <sighs> Can you believe you've already been here three hours? Time flies when you're with your best friends. <laughs> Let's do trust falls. That looks unsafe. Rainbow Dash, I thought you couldn't make it. I finished up early. Where is everybody else? Uh, I didn't think they'd want to do this. But hey, at least you're here. And now you're gone. Oh, sorry. Sometimes things get out of hand when you're having this much fun with your best friends. <laughs> Is this yours? Turns out they do want to do this. It's my turn already? Sorry, just sold the last one. Ah, oh, it's all right. I got to hang out with you guys. Who cares about a video game? Oh, that's what we were waiting for? I just thought we were having a super duper fun line party. I pre-ordered it for you weeks ago. You know what the best part of this game is? Uh, the quest? The power-ups? The revenge? It's multiplayer. All right, kids, notebooks away. Quiz time. Oh, hello there, Hubert. Is everything okay? 
Only number two pencils, got it? Okay. Begin. Oh, we'll talk after the quiz, okay? <laughs> uh, slow down. You're all talking at once. What is it? Oh, I see. If you take four from that one and divide them equally, that sounds like a solution to the problem, Reginald. Good thinking. Mr. Doodle! Yes? The honest and observant Trixie has reason to believe that Fluttershy is cheating! <gasps> yes! I saw her talking to those birds! Fluttershy, cheating is a serious offense. I swear I wasn't cheating. I was whispering to the birds because they were having an argument over sticks for their nests and... An argument? Sounds made up. No, 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 no. See, Hubert thought that Reginald was stealing from his, but I told him, surely you can tell the difference between oak and poplar sticks. Right, sweetie? <laughs> they don't know anything about math, but I studied really hard for this test. Sure you did. Hey, I know my stuff. So prove it then. Go on. Make my day. She's correct. Yeah! <laughs> Hello? The great and powerful Trixie needs a tutor. Which one of you knows trigonometry? Oh, I'm so excited for my, uh, hangout with Timber Spruce. First, we're gonna peruse the exhibit on gravitational fields for 13 minutes. Then we'll marvel at the vastness of the universe during the planetarium show. And finally, we'll enjoy cups of hot cocoa and casual conversation as we spot constellations in the night sky. Well, that all sounds lovely. You sure it isn't too much for one hangout? No, it's all going to go exactly as I planned. Perfect, that is. I got something special for your big night, just in case. Aw, that's so sweet. You didn't have to. Hey, Timber. Want to go inside and see the gravity exhibit? It's really pulling me in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> on account of the gravitational pull? the exhibit should be right here, next to the statue of Star Swirl. Maybe it got sucked into a black hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the planetarium show's about to start. All shows are canceled for the rest of the day. Oh. Hey, that's okay, Twilight. It's not the end of the world. <gasps> the telescope, come on! got lost, the show was canceled, we burned our tongues, and now the skies too overcast to spot a single star. And I was really hoping to impress you. Uh, <laughs> tell me about it. Now how am I supposed to impress you by pointing out the constellations of Aquilius, Pegasus, and Cassiopeia? You know where those are? Uh, I may have done a little astronomy studying in preparation for tonight. Okay, a lot of studying.
well, the earmuffs don't work. I'm now hearing everything everyone's thinking without even touching them. Is anyone else experiencing a sudden, uh, surge in their powers today? Uh... <laughs> So you have. Sorry, I just heard all of your thoughts. Can't help it. Fascinating. I wonder what's causing it. Hi, guys! I just ran here from the soccer field in three seconds. Wait, hold on! I got my backpack! Yuck, this needs mustard. Super speed is where it's at, am I right? It's like I can't stop because I've been getting so much done. Okay, I may have a theory about what's going on with our magic. Our geodes are all connected, so the more each of us use our magic for everyday tasks, the more all of our powers become supercharged and go haywire. Since Rainbow was using her super speed for everything, all of us experienced an uncontrollable boost. Oh! <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, so long as we use it in moderation, our magic should stay under control. And our geodes will go all glowy if it's about to get wackadoodle doo. It seems that way. Yeah! Mm. Hey, Rainbows. There you are. Do you want to go to the mall with me? I forgot I have to be at a... Uh, a thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's cool. I don't care anyway. Okay, Fluttershy? I don't think so. I hear crying. <laughs> From a bunch of baby sea turtles. They just hatched and are trying to find their way to the water. But they're lost. Oh, no! Oh, how could I ever find a bunch of teeny tiny turtles on this great big beach? Tank here is a tortoise. Maybe he could help us? Hmm, that's not exactly the same, but it's worth a try. Lead the way, Tank! to help them get to the water safely. Just over this sand dune, past those rocks and crabs, beyond that abandoned sandcastle city, and around that dangerous shipwreck. Oh, boy. Don't worry. We'll just carry them to safety. We can't. They have to make the journey on their own so they can imprint and return to this beach when they lay their own eggs someday. Well, then, the least we can do is help clear a path for them. Baby turtles, be free! Um, adorable tiny turtles? Tank? Fluttershy, look! The trail in the sand! Tank? Tank led the babies! Aww! Well done, Tank! Oh, they think Tank's their mommy. <laughs> Aww.